shirt. Ah, there we go. Gotta make sure my address isn't showing. Oh, dang guys. I need a cut. I need to clean myself up a little bit. Hey, check this out before we open this thing up. The uh, travel cars, look, the uh, little mini SCX24, little back window MSM sticker. And then this crawler, these are gonna go in the RV, so wherever we go, I'll be driving, crawling, hiking, whatever we're doing. All right, there's something in here, guys, that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. I'm super excited about this package. So basically, when you, uh, run for a company, like a tire company, you place orders, like you basically just place, at least me, I place orders once every quarter and I just order a whole bunch of stuff that I think I need. Oh, I didn't even say what's up. What is up guys? My name is Mark Center. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog guys. I was so excited about opening this box. I didn't even say hi, but yeah. So basically I order a whole bunch of stuff I think I need, but I also throw some stuff in here that I really want. Just kind of is cool, but there's gonna be a lot of race tires in here, but there's gonna be some stuff in here that I've been waiting for. I don't, the box is too big. Do I set it down? What do I do? Let's just do this. All right, just had to point the camera up a little bit. Man, this table. All right, I gotta get myself together, guys. I got this. Oh, please don't cut myself. Don't do it, Mark. Okay, we're good. I think we're done with the knife. We can put this away before I hurt myself. All right. Ooh. Sometimes, every once in a while, They'll throw some bonus stuff in here for me, which is really nice. Look, I got a ProLine Whole Shot product newsletter. What? Oh, they have new uh, internal dually beadlock wheels. Look at these new Power Stroke shocks. Those look pretty good. Okay, sorry. All right, we got wheels. I need the wheels. Obviously, you need wheels. A whole bunch of buggy wheels. Some truck wheels. Oh, those wheels. No, the same. Truck wheels. Got a whole bunch of truck wheels. More buggy wheels. Tire glue, can't go wrong with tire glue. Sweet, it's like they knew I was gonna unbox this, so they put all the fun, exciting stuff on the bottom. Tires, obviously need tires. By the way, in regards to like go-to Truggy tires, S3 Buckshots for Truggy. Those are like the most universal ones. I usually run M3 or S3. Buckshots, that's it for truck. Got some S3 Buckshots. Got these, those are, I can't show you those yet. Slide locks, I was out of slide locks, M3 slide locks. This, this was a tire that worked really well for me out at SICK, Southern Indoor Championship. Um, <coughs> I don't know how it worked for everybody else. Worked really well for me, so. Some more glue, where'd I put all my glue? All the glue's over here. Okay, here we go. This is the stuff that I wanted to sell. Like, this is pretty cool. So these are, oh man, these are, uh, these are Badlands for the Haas. These look, freaking awesome i'm gonna put these on today and they have like little different hex sizes so you can basically fit them on any car but these are 10 scale badlands i got badlands m2 these are 2.8s and then i got another set i think i got these are the badland mx 28s these are just a little bit thicker so i got badlands for the haas i think i'm gonna put the bigger badlands on the haas and then the smaller ones on the rustler i think that makes the most sense um both of them look super cool. So the Badlex, Badland MX-28s are a little bit bigger than the regular Badland 2.8s. You know what, we're gonna open them up so I can show you. We're gonna open them up anyway, so. Believe it or not, this isn't what I was looking forward to, but this was, you got all the different size adapters and hexes in the middle. So you can mount it on all the different cars. You can mount it on a Haas, a Max. All right, so these are the Badland, M these are the Badland MX-28s. Um, on the on the hot on the X Max they call them MX 43s these are MX 28s and these are the regular Badlands so there's a reason to get the the thinner ones the thinner ones are going to be less rotating mass I really 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 like these on like my E Revo these are going to perform better but these look better so I wasn't sure which one to get I think these are going to be really cool on the Rustler VXL 4x4 and I think these will be perfect I'm I'm excited to put these on the Haas. So I'm gonna actually put those on the Haas right after we unbox the rest of this stuff. But there's the difference, MX-28s and the regular Badlands. They're just a little bit, not even a little bit, way wider. And these are 10 scale truck tires. Oh my God, I just destroyed this bag in there. All right, going back in here, more slide locks. Oh, here's what I've been waiting for, guys. Guys, I finally got them. These are prisms for the truck. 
Man, I've needed these. So I don't know if you remember, I ran some laps with my four wheel drive uh, truck, my little mini truggy, they call it the MT410. No, not the MT410, the ET410.2. And, oh God, freaking fly, man. I am a hot mess, guys. And these truck, you need these for the turf and carpet, and I did not have these. I ran one set on my truck once, and it was because someone let me borrow them. And I was like, I need to get Proline one. So it's been a while since I, I've, I've wanted these for so long and I never ordered them, and they finally came in. So I got a whole bunch of prisms for the truck. Oh man, those look so good. And then, spoiler alert guys, you guys ready for this? I got pyramids for the buggy. You guys, I never finished my buggy, my 10 scale buggy, but I'm gonna finish it. And these are the tires for it. I can't wait to run out at a, golly, there's a lot of tires in here. I can't wait to run out at Gold Star or Action, Ar Action Park turf or carpet on with those four wheel drive cars are so much fun. They're so fast. They handle so well. I cannot wait. I'm gonna mount some of these up. Oh man, this is freaking awesome. Let me go get my Haas because I wanna see what that looks like and see what these, these wheels and tires are all about, like the, how the hexes and stuff work. Oh, watching the playback of that first part of the video drove me nuts. The lighting is so bad in that room. It gets dark so freaking early and my mic moved, oh, but I can't reshoot it because I already opened it. Anyways, these are the Badlands that I'm gonna put on the Haas. These are the removable hex wheels. I always wondered what these were all about because this is, this is actually the first time I've gotten a set with removable hex wheels. Um, quick reminder, I know you saw, you might've saw it on the banner in the first part of the video. You save 10% at ProLineRacing.com using the coupon code MSMVLOG. It's in the description below. Go check it out. Save some money at ProLineRacing.com. So this is a stock Haas wheel. Um, probably very similar. It's actually the probably the exact same as a, the, at least the offset as like a stampede or a slash four x four wheel. So you can see how far the hex sits up. So on the Proline wheel, there's nothing here. So what the Proline wheel comes with, it comes with these different adapters here, or these are the different hexes in the middle and a whole bunch of screws. So this is cool for several reasons. One, you can have, basically you can mount two different kinds of, two different on two different kinds of cars with one set of wheels. So they don't have to sell like a, a slash wheel set and a sentin wheel set or whatever. So long it's a 15 millimeter, which I believe these are 15 millimeter, that's what it is. So long it's th this size wheel hex, you can use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in here. I can kind of just tell um, on how high the hex sits or which one I need. I mean, I can already tell you it's this one because see there you can see how high this, this hex sits compared to this. So I'm gonna mount these in here. If I put these other ones in here, this might be for like a two wheel drive front. They usually mount a little bit deeper. See how deep that is? This one's not as deep. So I'm gonna mount these on and this should work just fine. And all you need to do is just screw it on. The other reason why this is awesome to me is one big problem is stripping out these center wheel hexes. So if you strip out the center wheel hex now, now you can just replace this piece instead of buy a whole new wheel and tire. Man, that's pretty freaking awesome. All right, let me put these together. Or not this one, this one together. All right, got them all mounted up. Quick pointer, I use my electric screwdriver. Basically what I do is I screw it all the way in before it stops, not all the way in, but basically not all the way in, but just right before it stops. And then I tighten it with a regular hex driver. The reason why I do that is because sometimes the torque of the electric screwdriver can strip stuff out. Um, and also after I kind of screw them in with the electric screwdriver, I let the threads cool because whenever the electric screwdriver screws it in super fast, it can heat up the threads and cause it to strip also. So basically I do it about 90% of the way with the electric screwdriver, let it sit for a little bit and tighten it up with a normal hex driver. Anyway, sorry. What I want to do real quick is I want to weigh these tires, these wheels and tires to see the weight difference. I'm really big on rotating mass. Um, I don't, I don't think these are much heavier, but we'll find out here in a second. See, this thing's zeroed out, zeroed out. The stock tire is exactly eight ounces. Proline tire is 7.6. Nice, that's with the hex in it and the screws. So that means these are a lighter, less rotating mass than the stock Traxxas Haas wheels. Oh man, and these are gonna look sick. I'm putting them on now. We're gonna see what it looks like. Oh man, look how good that looks. I like the black wheels. I think they look super freaking sick. 
Yes, Mickey is back there. Oh man, these look good. And I'm really surprised, not much of a size difference. I'm really surprised that these are lighter. That means it should perform better. Anyways, guys, before you leave, before you stop watching, smash the like button, guys. I know you guys are watching videos without smashing the like button. Smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.